Trevor Crane here, 11-time number one best-selling author. Come with me. And the founder of Epic Author Publishing. <laughs> it is the only way. And today's episode of The Daily Dose is about the power of the dark side. I think you're going to love today's show. Cowboy. Welcome to A Daily Dose of Greatness Class. With your host, Trevor Crane, my daddy. He is going to help you take your life and business to the next level. Here I come to save the day. Trevor Crane here, 11-time number one best-selling author and the founder of Epic Author Publishing, coming to you live every day so you can plug in every day to build your ideal business so you can live your ideal life. If my daddy can do it, then anybody can do it because... He's a weirdo. You're supposed to make me sound cool. <laughs> if you only knew the power of the dark side. All right, all right. Well, guys, it's pretty obvious. I'm playing around with a little bit of Star Wars stuff today. But the seriousness of today's episode should not uh, miss you. This is something that has saved my bacon. I did not understand the power of the dark side, the power of the night, the power of what my buddy, uh, what my brother Garrett J. White calls it, uh, the the power of the pit. And I didn't understand this. I didn't understand this in influence. I didn't understand this in sales. I didn't understand this in my life. I'm a pretty happy guy. And I'm a, pre- I'm a guy that tries to look at things, and I typically see the positive. I typically see the good in things. I typically like to think about this shiny, bright future that I want to create. And one of the challenges with that is it creates this sensation of, of, of happiness and contentment because we start to experience that future right now. When I used to do sales calls with people and I was trying to sell myself, see there's a big difference when you sell somebody else's stuff to when you are selling yourself as a coach or consultant or something that you created yourself. And every time I've started a new business, my temptation is to just paint this beautiful picture of a future vision that will be so compelling that I want you to have. And that's a very important part as a leader to be able to create that vision. You got to do that. But when you're in a sales conversation, when you're trying to create influence for yourself or for others, I think there is nothing more powerful than pain. See, there's two parts of it. When I went to my first uh, Tony Robbins event, he, he wrote up on the board, there's two primary motivators, pain and pleasure. And what I have found is the one that will get you out of bed and get you doing whatever it is you need to do is the pain. And see, if you, if you don't focus on that pain or you're in a sales conversation or you're having a conversation of influence and you're trying to influence your kid, another human, whatever it is, if you are not accessing the power of the dark side, <laughs> the power of the pain, the power of the pit of despair that you may or may not, that you may be in, and you're just not associated to it, then you're missing out on the primary, most important part of the conversation. Few people have the courage and the st- to, to, to go there, to willingly go there inside themselves or to potentially lead another human there. Because it's an uncomfortable place to be. You know, the, the dark can be a not happy place. It is a place where there is suffering. It is a place where there is discontentment. And we don't like to go there. We like to distract ourselves and delude ourselves and medicate ourselves and watch another Netflix special and not pay attention to the reality of something that is not working right now. See, it is not possible to paint a picture of a new possibility, not a real one, until we have clarity about what's not working right now and some kind of discontentment in it. And see, when you have access to that and you're not scared of going there and you actually, if you're a leader, you should be inspired to lead others through that type of clarity, to to get them clear with the reality of right now. See, if something in your life or in their life is not working right now and and we help people get clear with it or we do this in ourselves and we help ourselves get clear about the power of the dark, of what we don't want, see, that, my friends, is fire. 
That is like, that is freaking kryptonite to Superman, man. I, I remember I was laying in bed one time. I was running my business and I didn't want to get out of bed. My alarm went off. I don't know if this happened for you, whether you work for a job or you, you got to work for yourself and the alarm goes off, man, and, and, I, and I hit snooze. And then I did it again. And then I did it again. And I was just dreading getting up to go you know, attack my day. I wasn't looking forward to the day. And at the time I was running a water sports business and one would think I lived in paradise because that's where we ran our business out of Naples, Florida, out of the Ritz Carlton. I had a parasail business and I was, one would think I should just jump out and go hang out on a boat, boat all day in the sun with girls in bikinis and make good money and yada, yada, yada. But what got my ass out of bed, it wasn't all that. All that positive, happy bullshit I'd experienced before. That was not what was going to get me out of bed. What got me out of bed as of that day was imagining one of my employees who I didn't trust. <laughs> I liked him, but I didn't trust him. Running my business, I started to imagine him taking over and running my business. And what was crazy is it, it jolted my nervous system with freaky adrenaline, and I jumped the fuck right out of bed. I couldn't take it anymore. I was like, I, that, that, that's it. Like, and his name was Hernan. God love this kid. But I just didn't trust him <laughs> to go ahead and run my business. And then that fired me up out of bed. And I, I, one time I was run, I was transitioning in from my bankruptcy into selling my consulting, business consulting full time. And it was freaking me the fuck out. And I, and I wasn't comfortable with what I was offering. I was incongruent in some way. And I missed 20 sales in a row. On the fifth one and on the seventh one and on the tenth one and on the thirteenth one, I blamed the a-hole I was talking to. These idiots don't know what they're missing. I'm too, I'm, I, you know, th there's something wrong with them. They're too broke. I told all kinds of bullshit stories. And that the nineteenth one, I was still telling that story that there was something wrong with them that I needed better people, whatever it was. On the 20th sale, I met with this gal at a coffee shop at the mall and I had parked in the mall, like in one of those mar mall parking lots. And uh, I met with this gal and she needed my help more, than, like just, she needed my help. And I knew I could help her. I had helped people just like her create amazing results. And I led her through, I painted a picture for her of what life would be like having all the things that she wanted. I future paced her, which is a phenomenal marketing strategy, talking to her about, hey, hey, don't experience your pain. Don't wallow in the pain and the suffering and the challenges that you're having right now, because I got uncomfortable. In the middle of the conversation, she was telling me about how her life sucked because she didn't have the results that she wanted. And I and she got emotional about it. I didn't want her to get emotional. I'm a nice guy. I wanted her to see the future. And honestly, I could solve her freaking problem. So I didn't allow her to associate to the pain she was going through right now, the pit, the dark side. And instead, I started painting a picture and started giving her ideas about all the things that we could do together and how she could do this and be so amazing. And at the end of the meeting, she hugged me. Oh my gosh, Trevor, this has been so amazing. Thank you so much. I don't think I'm going to hire you though. I think you gave me enough tips today. I should go do them myself. And I went back to my car and had this walk of shame from the coffee shop to my car thinking, what the hell just happened? Like, she loved me. She got all this value from me, supposedly. She hugged my damn ass, but she didn't hire me. 20 sales in a row. I sat down in the car and I did not feel like I had helped her. I felt like I had punched her in the stomach, like physically, like I had felt like I had just, instead of helping her, and she was leaving with a smile on her face, I felt like I slammed her in the stomach with my fist as hard as I could. I felt like a fucking loser. And I sat in my car that day and cried. And I cried not because I was broke, which is not the case. And it, I mean, I wasn't, didn't have a lot of money, but it wasn't going to break me. What I cried about was that I had the ability to help this chick and somehow I screwed it up and I didn't help her. And it wasn't until that day that I recognized that in my sales process and my sales system, and I teach this in my book called High Paying Clients. If you haven't gotten that book, you should go pick it up. People read that all the time and they tell me that it's just this template for helping them get clients and close deals and they love this book. Some people hate it. That's cool. <laughs> You're always going to have a, a troll or a hater. I don't think you really do anything phenomenal if you don't have somebody that doesn't like it. But in that book I share, in that day, I had to realize that I was leaving out a key component in my sales strategy, and that was allowing someone to associate to the darkness, to the pain and the pit. So here's my challenge for you today. 
is to go ahead and figure out where in your life you are using softeners that you are not recognizing and appreciating in using the power of the dark, the power of the pit, of associating to things that you are not happy with right now and, and emphasizing and maximizing those and burning them up and making it potentially worse than it is right now. But future pace, your life by living with this substandard quality of, of standard that you have and magnify that pain so that you can create a power inside of you that says, frick it, that is it, I have had enough, I, I, and that you are ready to change, where you are fed up. And when you are leading a potential client through this conversation, it could just, it doesn't have to be that they are p pissed off and angry and fed up and, and can't have enough. It could be that they are just bored <laughs> and, the, and that you are wanting to, and they want more. And, and you need to have both. You need to have the pleasure and the pain. You need to have the carrot and the stick. You need to have an association to both. But all too often, us happy, go-lucky motherfuckers are out there just trying to paint a picture. Excuse me. We're trying to paint a picture of everything is freaking rosy and it's going to be sunshine and rainbows. And if you just hire me, it'll be amazing. And we think because we create a new business plan or a new marketing plan that gosh darn it, it's going to work out. Well, you know what? It's probably fucking not. Not because it's going to have problems. You're going to fall on your freaking face. <laughs> You're going to need some bloody help, which is why my whole business exists, because we need help. I, I, I am out here to help people every single day, like trying to be a freaking superhero, looking for people that I can help. And I want you to do the same thing. I want you to find someone that you can help. So do the daily challenge today. Find the place that you could use the power of darkness and go there experience it, magnify it so that it fires you up and it's that burning desire to do something and to shake your ass. And for today's daily quote, I'm going to bring you Master Yoda. Do or do not. There is no try. Hold on. I need to make that better. Always with you what cannot be done. Hear you nothing that I say. You must unlearn what you have learned. Now I know what you might be thinking. All right, I'll give it a try. Oh, no, you don't. Don't give me that shit. No. Try not. Do. Or do not. There is no try. Well, that's about all the fun I can have with Star Wars today. Here's the thing. I, I want to give you my free book, uh, or I want to give you my book for free. It's High Paying Clients. Um, I love this book. It's my first book. It helped me 10x my income. If you haven't read this yet, you got to get this thing. Uh, go to trevorcrane.com forward slash free book. That'll be my gift for you today. And I think I just, I, I can't help myself. I got to do one more thing. Hold on. I am your father. <laughs> No. No. It's not true. That's impossible! Search your feelings. You know it to be true.